Hey, what's good family? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a play I took on Palantir today. I'm going to show you when I bought it. I'm going to show you when I sold it. I'm going to show you what the chart looked like and stick around to the end of the video. As a bonus, we're going to take a look at DJT, Donald Trump stock. If you're seeing this video right when I post it, hey, this technical analysis could come in handy. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so here we are in the handy Danny Robin Hood. And as you can see, uh, Palantir opened up about 28.43, quickly took a dip down here to about $28 and ran up to about 29.25. If you were able to catch my watch list video, it pretty much exactly hit support, ran up to the next level of resistance and pretty much played exactly off the levels we had. So I was able to get in right at the bottom, right it to the top. And to those of you in the discord who caught it, Hey, look right here. We bought two shares, paid $31 each. Sold out of the two shares for $78 each. And just off this trade right here, that was a quick 142%. Took $62 into $155. And we took this trade in less than an hour. Now getting to the charts, this is exactly what I saw today. Dropping down to the 15 minute chart, I want to show you everything I saw this morning that led me to take this trade. So the first thing I saw, the first thing I noticed is that we had a gap up right here. There was a gap that needed to be filled. So this morning I kind of waited a little bit to see what happened. Uh, pretty much right at open, the market sold off and then we filled this gap. I've changed the chart since, but there is actually a lot of support right here at this $28 level. And then if it were to fail at this $28 level, I have my stop loss right here around 27.66. So after I made my entry right here at about $28.02, I wrote it up to my first target, which was 28.65, which was kind of the last area of support and resistance. It's 28.40 to 28.65. This is kind of a range of support and resistance. And then after we took that out right here, I saw it still had strength, still had momentum. And looking back at the charts, if you go back far enough, if we go on up to a larger time frame, you can see there is actually this area of resistance right here from September 2021. And that's exactly where I grabbed this from. So me seeing that, I kind of added as a big area of resistance, which led me to take profits right there. I said, I'm not going to be greedy. I'm just going to take profits right there. And to my surprise, pretty much once we got there and once I sold out, it slowly kind of melted down throughout the rest of the day. And, you know, nothing else happened and I didn't take any more trades. So in summary, I bought at a previous level of support down here at 28, sold out at resistance up here at 29.25. And then I went on with my day. Now, with that being said, to those of you that stuck around, let's take a look at DJT. And I want to show you all what I have charted. To those of you that saw the morning watch list, you saw I plotted a level of resistance up here at $47. There's still a gap to be filled down here uh, at this $30 level. There's a demand zone about right here at $31.30. So I got my alert for... $31.63. And as long as this stock holds above $28.50, it's still a buy for me. It could go back up before coming down. But to me, this is where the money is right here in this $32 to $28 range. If you found this video to be helpful or learn anything, please be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.